Uh, thank you, Amity. I am really, really thrilled to be here. I live very close to Plymouth Notch, and uh, I'm going to brag about that for a minute. Uh, and I want all of you to come up, but I am from Vermont, and Windsor County is uh, where Plymouth Notch is. And if you just uh, go down Route 4 through Woodstock and get to Bridgewater Corners and you take a left on Route 100A, uh, familiar places to all of you, go down a few miles, you come upon this extraordinarily modest, iconic Vermont farmstead. And I remember the first time uh, I was there. It was like 40 years ago. And I was not really aware of it. And I saw this modest little sign. It was the Calvin Coolidge homestead. And it was such a thrill to be there. And I couldn't quite tell why. But as I was listening uh, to Meg talk, and also, Amity, what you were talking about, with how policy matters, and it's so wonderful to have the young folks here uh, who are the Coolidge uh, senators, I guess. Uh, policy matters. Character matters. And the gravitational pull that we have in Vermont to the memory of Calvin Coolidge is that character matters. I mean, you mentioned the midnight oil, more desk, less window. and. That's so tough. I was speaking to the young people now. In an age that was invisible to Calvin Coolidge and everyone else, where everything is so intoxicated with social media and immediate stimulation and hits and immediate gratification. And you're in a world that those of us who are older did not have to contend with. That's a challenge. Calvin Coolidge didn't have to contend with it. But what he did was so grounded in human interaction and the values of small communities and rural life. And there's so much, I believe, we can learn from those values that were so embodied in Calvin Coolidge, that hard work mattered, loyalty to your neighbors mattered, that doing things that benefited your local community mattered that, yes, policy mattered. He was a man of very strong, very conservative views. But what his conservative views included was not just that he live an honorable moral life, but that part of his sense of personal responsibility was to invest himself in building institutions. It could be the local community bank. It could be the local volunteer fire department. It could be, as it turned out for him, the presidency. That sense of personal responsibility extended beyond own, his own responsibility to live an honorable life, but to actually contribute to the creation of institutions that would carry on those values. And that's a very humble, very modest understanding of his own limitations, but where he could contribute. So. To the young folks who are here, this is what an opportunity for you to be hearing from folks who have led this life focusing on policy, but where that policy is about building community and where community starts right in your own neighborhood. So I want to express my gratitude to the Coolidge Foundation. I want to encourage all of you to come up and see this beautiful part of Vermont Bring your hiking shoes, bring your bathing suit in the summer, bring your skis in the winter, but come on up. Thank you all very, very much.